And to begin, I am going to open the contents of the layer that has my animation. Since I am controlling the position of the ball, I am going to Alt or Option click the position. Once you do this, click this little arrow that says Expression Language Menu. And now go to Property and then choose Loop Out Type Cycle. And by default, this will loop your animation for you, as you can see. If you want, you can remove that last part of the expression and then stop where it says cycle. And additionally, I'll put this in the video description. So if you want, you can just copy and paste. So here it is. There you go. This creates a looping animation. It's that simple. Now to make the cycle loop animation more natural, one thing you can do is making the object disappear completely. And you can do this by using the position, scale, or opacity animation. I mean, just look at this. Yes, it's looping, but it's so stiff. It goes zzz, 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 zzz. We want something more natural. Now I am going to make this disappear using the position animation. And to do this, I'm going to move the first keyframe out of the canvas and also the last keyframe out of the canvas. So now, as you can see here, when I animate this, it looks more natural. So it looks like a new item is constantly entering and exiting the scene. All right, now for my favorite type of looping animation, ping pong. And all you have to do is replace cycle with ping pong. And now look, now this is a true looping animation. Because ping pong doesn't just repeat the animation, but it goes back and forth, back and forth at the same rate. And because I did this, now I have a bouncing ball. <laughs> so definitely, as you can see, it's really simple to do a simple looping animation in Adobe After Effects. And like I said, these expressions will be in the video description. For more videos like this, please subscribe and thanks for watching.